Okay guys, so we're now home and I'm going to give Sam the chance to try some of the vacuums. He hasn't tried that before. No, I've never tried one of these. It's just like a DC-14, but it's not. This is the newest, currentest one. The latest one, yeah? Not often I use a current native diet. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, that's... Not much difference, is there? No, it's like a UP. It's exactly the same. But it's nice to move. Yeah. Not plastic mine, is it? No, it's, they changed the labels on it. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Not bad though, because the DC40 yeah. was quite nice anyway. I yeah. think my head does make it nicer. I was like, that's, that's not a bad shell. Yeah, and it's picked up all that already. Oh, yeah. Which is quite a lot for. I mean, you know, this hasn't been. Vacuumed in about a day or two. If it has, it was with the V6, which is just weak on its own. Oh, I see. So what the anti-hair comb stuff does is just rip it off the brush roll. Yeah. Can you see what it does, though? It, it cuts the bristles. Off. Yeah. That's not a good thing, though, is it? Yeah, because it's it always going to wear down the brushes. Yeah, they're all bending. But one thing I have noticed is that the brushes are a bit more dense. They are nice. They're I can't tell the difference. Normally, there's a black strip and a red strip. Obviously, they're just given up. And... Yeah. Yeah. On this one, it's just fully red brushes. Oh, that's just going to get filthy. Oh, imagine mind. cleaning that out. <laughs> that's going to be a nightmare to clean, isn't it? But yeah, it's nice when they're all shiny and new. We've got the new style tools as well. Yep. These are standard tools now, then. For yeah, I guess so. Everything. And now they've got the onboard table brush. Oh, but you only get one place to put your tools. I know this thing. I've seen this on the other ones. I left that cardboard piece on, you know, because I feel like it works better with it. Because yeah. yeah. when you compress it, the bristles stick out more and then the suction's not powerful enough for that. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit odd. Yeah. Very nice DC40 Mark 4. Four? I you think so, yeah. Mark yeah, it's a Mark yeah. 4. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DC40 Mark 4, the machine that is decades old and still being facelifted today. So, on to the next vacuum. What should we play with next? We'll see in a second. Here we have something which feels very familiar in my hand, but it is not, I've been told, a V11. It is a V15 with V11 stuff on it. So, first time I've actually used a V15. How low resolution is that screen? That is terrible. Makes a lot knocky look like an iPhone. Yeah. But, that's alright. What does yellow mean? You picked up more yellow. I don't know, it's just the size of the particles, really. But you know what I've noticed? For some reason, on eco mode, the numbers raise faster through the dust count. They're not even moving. Yeah. But it just counts the dust particles, really. Oh, yeah, they're gonna lift it off, yeah. And then auto mode, it will detect dust. That's a lot and then boost the suction up. Yeah, that's not... I never liked that on my mode with that. Yeah. If you put it on boost and lift the head up for a few seconds, you get the maximum suction. How's that? It's basically the same as the V11, but pretty much. Only a little bit cool. I don't know. Yeah. I, I never liked the ramping up and down the power when it felt. Yeah, like. I hate that. And I can feel the motors warm already. Oh it's yeah. Always my thing with the V. Spins yeah. too fast. But yeah, it's. A, it's a Do you want to try the suction out from the actual unit? Yeah. See if it feels different by hand. Is there any difference on paper? There is. I mean, the air wattage is quite a bit higher. And then on to boost. It takes doing that more. Mine is cold. Yeah. I'm doing it that right? Can you see a difference? A little bit. But yeah. Really it's not the it. huge difference, but it, they call it an improvement. Problem is that you can't really use it because you can't like get a scrub on because it'll nah. Be so you can't like yeah, make the most of it because it will puddles. But yeah. Yeah, it's because the shape of it really. Trigger broken yet? Not yet. Very good. It's only a month old. Yeah, well, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, that's it. Screen is just so low resolution. I thought they changed the size of the actual screen as well. No, they seems... haven't important. Yeah. They're all the same. I thought that always looked bigger in the promo shots. Oh that? yeah. So tiny. How do you mean? Now that you mentioned it, I think it might be the case. I'm sure they were just looked bigger and clearer. That just looked really comical. Yeah, this just looks too animated. No point. You have to look at it so much. You end up 
not be like to read that. <laughs> Tray, yeah. Yeah. Look, there we are. Yeah, the, the, the clicking battery. Oh yeah, that's new. Yeah. From about two years ago. <laughs> all the batteries are the same. I hope that makes the spares cheaper because if, if all they're gonna do is make like one battery, that hopefully them, that'll that'll be the key to these things lasting. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. What's next? We'll see you in a second. Here we have a actually quite similar machine with its cyclone. This. Seems to be a tough master. I know nothing about this. What's the crack with this one? Um, I don't know much about it myself either. This is just a cheap new thing. Yeah, a cheaper vacuum that's oh, had a redesign. Plastic base plate. Completely yeah, new um, design even. Average bond. That's a very American style. Yeah, it looks like a shop vac kind of thing, doesn't it? Yeah, that would look, yeah, shop vac. Yeah, all right then. Is it a wet and dry vac? It is actually, and you can just suck up water without converting it over. Yeah, but that goes me quickly. <laughs> it does. But it cleans it out, the pipes and everything, oh, and the actual so bin itself. Okay, so suction motor there. Oh, yeah, look at that. So the cycling system looks quite Dyson-esque. So if I you lift that part out, that's the cyclones. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah. backs on the top, and then... Yeah, that's on the other side of the corner, isn't it? Oh, look, dust yeah. everywhere already. Oh. And if you lift out the shroud cyclone area, uh, I, I, yeah, you'll that's, see how massive it is. Because it has to float level indicator there. Yeah, so when water reaches the max line, it just shuts off. Yeah, because it will short out. That's pretty cool. That, that's nice, the clear bin. Yeah. It's got a massive clear bin as well. Yeah, I bet it's big old capacity. It'll just go back in any particular way. No, it just goes on any way, really. Just slots in. Got to be central. There we go. Why can't I do it? I don't know much, you see. <laughs> nah, you're doing quite good for a first time because I was trying to figure out. I put the filter in before the cyclone the first time. Yeah, they were set up, wouldn't they? Ah, like, oh, I forgot the cyclone. That's a blower. And then that's just on and off. <laughs> yeah. I thought it did a bit more than that. It looks like. And that's it. They did, and they got all the like dials and stuff. Okay, let's <laughs> plug this in then. I was hoping it would have speed control, but it doesn't. That's what I thought that was. That was like a knob that you turn. Yeah. But it doesn't, it just pushes. Nah, it sadly it doesn't do that. Oh. oh, that's strange. Oh, it's rusty already. It's rusty already, isn't it? It, feel like it, it goes over. Oh, wow. That's weird, yeah. I've only kept it in a bedroom. I've used one with my back, so it's gone rusty. <laughs> that's very strange. The floor tool, I'm not too sure how I feel about that because it's got nice rubber wheels. But it doesn't actually stick to the floor that well. It was alright. Oh, let's, let's turn it on. Is it loud? Kind of. Quite. It's got that new cheap appliance smell. Yeah. You got that all off the floor. I've barely used it. That's alright though. That's got hardcore stuff. Have you used it enough to see if it dies after like being filled up? Not really, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Your writing doesn't stick down, it also doesn't skip about, and that makes oh, yeah, that's it true. a bit nicer. That, that handle's quite good as well, that's, that's yeah. not too bad. My 1 in 60 floor tool there. It's a nice design, but it actually skips around. Yeah, I find that. Yeah. Is... The hose is just terrible, though. It's too short, it's too cheap, and the handle's too big. Yeah, it doesn't really rotate on. You hope nah. it goes baggy before you get annoyed with it, but it's easy enough to replace. I tried looking at fitting a Henry hose onto it, but That's what you want, I couldn't. Like non -conical, non yeah. It's not bad though, is it? Nah. No. It's got nice tool storage on the back as well. So you've got a dusting brush and a hard floor attachment, which is quite nice and wide. Oh, I didn't see those. Yeah. Quite, yeah. That's huge, isn't it? Isn't it? Is it just for wet pickup then? This is like the pneumatic stuff. Pretty much. Okay. But that's a pretty good uh, floor tool for sucking up water yeah, on its own. That feels more premium than the actual vacuum cleaner itself. <laughs> I drew. And they're all right, don't they? Yeah. yeah. That's a not bad dusting brush either. Yeah, that's pretty decent for the machine it comes with. I wouldn't want to do much dusting with all of this, but that's just. The oh, same. yeah, imagine dusting with that huge handle. Yeah, that's probably those vacuums, isn't it? But that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. 
And that's pretty much it for the Toff Master. I hate the short cable as well. It can roll over though, it's better than Yeah, and it's top heavy. Is it? Oh, Quite top heavy, it'll fall over. Yeah. Just like that. So yeah, that's the Toff Master, and we'll see you in a second for the next vacuum. Okay, yep, so what well, do you think of this? It doesn't get any better, does it? Okay. Huh? Literally see just a bunch of ram doing? random vacuums. There's a lot of random vacuums. Okay. I know. Are they all working? Pretty much, okay, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of familiarity here. That looks awful, but <laughs> fun? Is it, is it fun? Kind is of. It? it vibrates the carpet quite well, but... Does it grooming... also vibrate the whole machine quite well? Uh, the head. I've <laughs> <laughs> got one of those. Need to... Yeah, I'm <laughs> upgraded now, thanks to our friend. Oh, and one of these. So they can go, for sure. So what's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's the... Probably the most powerful Bissell you can get. It's your healthy home, I see. Oh, this is your one that you've just replaced. Yeah, see the cracks on that. Doesn't stand up right, and the bag's got a hole so all the dirt falls out. Oh, I see. Belt snapped as well. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. <sighs> it's in the right state. It's going in the bin. I'll be happy to have a play. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bottom you can have that if you want. Right. Then we've got the carpet washer, the Revolution. Oh, God, yeah. That Fair Target right. Red might just scrap it, to be honest. Why? It looks okay. It does, but you know the head on this side yeah. is broken, so ah. the actual side comes out like that. It has a very specific shade of steel that you can't buy unless you get... Yeah. The... yeah it's enough. a shame because it was mint before. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's I reckon you like the Bissell, though, because that's like a DC-17 I think connector. I do, yeah. I like big, ugly-looking vacuums. It's just like, it's <laughs> that just thing's like mad heavy, though. It's like a... Almost as heavy as a Kirby. If not just as heavy for plastic vacuum especially oh my goodness <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh, it's on the era where they didn't shrink things down so that was like a normal sized proper 2000 vacuum the hose is <laughs> it's got a change over valve actually as well because if you lift up the hose you can see that flap open i mean yeah it shuts oh, now yeah. can you see that i heard it so that plastic oh, part. Yeah. oh so, so i thought just... that was pretty cool so the dirt doesn't go through the holes, it goes down another way. That is More direct. That? that is hideous. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> it's like the entire size of that dice. Man. Literally like a DC7 oh, copy. I love early bagless stuff. It was just so wacky, wasn't it? Literally, yeah. <laughs> we need to jump on the bandwagon. How? We have to play with that inside, don't we? Yeah. All right, just we're... vacuums of this era were just so uh, interesting. Yeah, the always used to be quite cool. Like in the earliest 2000s, when they first started doing Yeah, they came up with completely new machines, but now it's just, everything looks yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, haven't got a meter park, a twist of pro in your Oh, do you want that? No, I've got one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fit for the bin now, because I don't want it. Okay, oh, well, yes, we'll save that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Can't that's a Henry that. base that I left in the rain for the longest time, and that dirty filter Great as well. Filter. Yeah, I, don't want, I didn't want to wash that because it was too grim. That'll be alright. I guess I'll force myself to clean it because it's actually in good condition. You want to just drop it in a bucket of mild breach for like a week. Yeah. And then scrub it off and then... I it's been in the, the, the rain for like since summer now. You definitely want to keep that. Yeah, and the base. What, what, what you, again, look, you can do, it cleans itself. <laughs> you can even wash your strawberries. Oh, yeah. That's an older base as well, okay. Let me, let me it's a 93 base, I think. I'm, that's what I was looking for, but I can't see it. Yeah. I, had a bit, I had a bigger scrap pile, which is now mainly gone. Fair enough, I like your hose hanging around. Oh yeah, I grow hoses on here. And now into the shed. A Broken Dreams, yeah. Powerwise version. Yeah, it looks the same as it did when I was last here. Just all the vacuums are different. Yeah. But it's the same. Still just as messy, but yeah. different vacuum. So what excites you most about these? Like, it's just a bunch of random it's a sea of dyson. Brown, isn't it? I can't yeah. help but lie. Like, that stands out more just because it's yellow. <laughs> I'll say nothing's really exciting here apart from the royal, yeah, which is right here. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. It's a problem, isn't it? Because they're all perfectly good dysons, but yeah, they're just meh. No one wants them anymore. No, That's the problem. So I... what can we do with them? We either do them up and give them away and yeah. use all the time and effort that goes, or they go into the bin, and that's always sad because we spent most of our lives saving stuff from the bin. It's a dilemma that every collector has. It's a shame, really, that happens. DC 18 there, has it got a broken changeover now? Uh, no, actually. Wow, I've got a brand new bit for mine, but again, I've 
not touched it in forever. Oh, because that's a common part to break on them. Yeah, I, I bought with like 40 quid off Amazon. Oh, that's quite steep. That's quite cheap. You, 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 you can't find them there. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. You can sell it for more now, maybe. Yeah, but then I still have a broken DCA too. And again, this time yeah. I'll either put the expensive part on the worthless machine and show the nice machine working, or it never gets done. And yeah, I just turn the part. Right? <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it, quite a lot. There's a DCA to me there. That's vaguely interesting. I can't decide if I want that still or not. I don't like DCA too. <laughs> yeah. It's just that colour though, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, part of that, they're all, they're all oh, quite nice, are not How long does it take you to get all these, then? Is this, like, one job lot, or... No, there's... A few years... I used to go to a warehouse which sold raw, cheap Dysons, like, DCS 7s at £5 each. Yeah. Those two yellow DCS 7s came from there, I think. Uh, the majority, really, have come from there. Good, yeah. And then they stay here. Like, yeah. Ever and ever and ever. Some of these have been refurbed, some of them haven't, but... It's time to get rid now, isn't it? That's the problem, yeah. When you've got no space, you've got no space. It's why a lot of my stuff's on eBay. <laughs> you've got a Dyson Cypher, and you buy your flowers. Is that, is that where you grow them? Where you start them off before they Yeah, I'm trying there? to grow a DC41 cycling from a 40. It's doing well. Yeah, it's getting big already. Oh. Luckily. <laughs> All right, so go. let's get some uh, playtime done. So we'll start with the ugliest and probably biggest vacuum of them all, the... What was it again? The Bissell, Bissell. Healthy Home. Healthy Home. It didn't look like a very healthy vacuum. <laughs> if a home was that healthy, you'd have problems at home. Yeah. You can't have a healthy home with a Bissell. No. But this mean, you saw this or this on the side next to each other, which, which would you buy? I know people it's a no brainer. Not, but nobody else helped themselves, did they? True. True. <laughs> oh, it's got a pedal on the back. You're loving that, aren't you? That's pretty powerful, considering what it looks like, isn't it? For a Bissell, you, I can't believe that's an actual Bissell. That is pretty cool, yeah, that's a... It's horrible to like, not use, but when you use it... Yeah. I, I, <laughs> oh, okay. It's a proper American-style vacuum. Very American style. Amazing, I even sold this year, given how big and heavy it is. I know, they just got this thing, which just looks awful. <laughs> in and out, in and out, in and out, but yeah. Do you know they sold these in the same vacuum, but different colour, as a commercial model? Like when, when we went to the cleaning show, Bissell Commercial was there with their commercial crosswave. Oh, yeah. Which we had to not laugh at. <laughs> in, in front of the man who was very proud of <laughs> So what's your verdict on this finally? Out of ten? Uh, seven. Seven? Okay. Because it's lovely, but I couldn't use it in my house. Yeah. It would be massive. And yeah, you, you know that these were all thrown away in their droves. And True. And bought DC07 or something. Yeah. Uh, of the era though, big clunky, not really well thought out, but quite powerful. Yeah. Oh. It just needed a new cable when I got it, and that's all. Yeah, I, don't, I think I've ever seen one. Didn't know that was a direct drive brush bar until it, it turned on. Yeah, the brush bar motor is quite large, almost as big as a 17. It's a very aggressive path as well. Yeah, the bristles are quite stiff. Very stiff bristles, yeah. Yeah. It's got a headlight too, but that doesn't work. I didn't notice that, so that's probably why. <laughs> so that's another plus one from that. But yeah, that's the Bissell Healthy on. Very nice indeed. You gonna keep it? For now, yeah. Okay. Uh, now this looks like a JMB or that Dirt Devil clone, but it's actually a Morphe Richards Ultra Light. And well, compared to this, it's, it, it's very light, but I wouldn't call it Ultra Light. Look at the What's symbol it? of that man holding in the air. They claim it to be that ultra light. Yeah. Well, you can hold it in the air, but why would you want to? <laughs> so what's the story behind this? This is very basic and plain compared to that thing. I can't remember where I got it from. It's just a cheap, usual vacuum find. It's common these days, isn't it? They're always a fine. They're always close enough to pick up and have a laugh with. And yeah, it's just one of them online purchases, really. Yeah. Oh. And that's it. I've given it a quick clean, enough to use, not a full stripped-down refurb. But yeah, it's all right enough. It's got a... I can't remember what bag it is. I think it's a Henry bag. 
Yeah, yeah, Henry Berg. There's something in there that's been so that there fits. was a higher spec model. Oh an yeah. Electronic speed control somewhere. The suction's pretty good on it though, to be fair. Hose end I've <laughs> ever seen, wasn't it? Like, got a fat hose cuff with a 40, narrow end. Yeah, 40 mil to like 10, but you know what? It, it feels quite nice and cheap, but it, those big wheels help it feel quite nice. I prefer one of these to a pure power, actually. Well, yeah, that's, that's probably exactly what it might be like. Ah. How does your weird hose go? Well, so, yep, just like that. Well, it can get your kick like that so it goes around. Yeah. The lower cable hook snapped off, unfortunately. Right. But that's the only damage on it, I think. It's a bit of a state, but say, when you use it's all right it, enough. It's actually quite nice, because those big rear wheels help yeah. you know, push down. Right? The wheels are a bit too stupidly big, though. Yeah. It's <laughs> like the Panasonic icon, but that pulls it off better. Yeah. I can hear some debris falling at the bottom. <clears throat> oh, that's from the... What's it called? The height adjustment. Oh, okay. From when I did a mess test. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, that's it. Not a terribly stiff brush roll, but it, it's doing all right. It's got it? beaters on the brush, which is what, is what makes it uh, vibrate the carpet. Yeah. Well, oh, now we've got some mess. Some mess, mess. Quick, big mess test. Is it vibrating? Not bad, is it? Yeah. Again, one of those vacuums it's one know. of those cheap vacuums from the 2000s. It is. You wouldn't have looked twice at it there. You probably wouldn't have looked twice at it now. But yeah. Now you've used it, yeah. That's do you like it better than you thought you would? I do, yeah. I thought it was going to be awful. Like, <laughs> like, like the worst Hoover Pure Power you've ever used, sort of awful. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay. Wow, that's two surprises so far. Yeah, so that's the Morphe Richards Ultralight 1400 watts. Very fancy indeed. Oh, yeah, I can't really wind the cable up properly. <laughs> Now, so we move from plastic nine no, mid two thousands trash to this beautiful thing. What is it? It's an American Royal. It says Energy Equipment. Oh, that's the company number. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, so it's, it's <laughs> I think the American. serial number's on the back or underneath somewhere. It looks a lot like my PA gear did. There's a lot of family resemblance here, from how this all swoops down Ooh. to nothing to how that lies on there. This is. Very similar to that 1924 that I had. Where'd okay. you get this from? I got this off a uh, Facebook marketplace wow. for 15. Ah, see the bargains like that do exist. You never look at Facebook every day and see nothing. And then all of a sudden, Bing. this gem pops up Ooh, with my name on it. A nice Volex plug as Ooh. well. Very good condition. Very nice indeed. Era appropriate. The rust adds to the uh, character as well. Problem with these, isn't it? You're either going to leave it as it is, or like go to town and yeah. get it machine polished like a mirror. It's why I've never pumped it down curves. So oh yeah. I'd like to get that Centria done, but it'd be eh. <laughs> a lot of effort, isn't it? Okay, so the bag on it isn't uh, original. It's just <laughs> the thing is, it's just there's no fill tube literally at all. So whatever you vacuum up is going to fall out. Ah. Yeah. So that's a problem with it. So yeah. I've got a proper one on the way for my good friend Scott. Um, yeah, it's literally just a mini Kirby. The front part comes off as well, so you can see the belt. It takes Kirby belts on it as well. Oh, yeah. The headlight's blown on it, though. I thought that wouldn't lift up. That's pretty cool. And there's got, like, a, uh, what's it called? An air relief valve. Oh, right. Yeah, so Quite there's that. Yeah, it really was. But the head doesn't come off because they're Kirby sued them for that. <laughs> The height adjustment's on the back, so you just turn that dial, that knob. Yeah, so that's the same as the ancient boils. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was exactly, that's been, like, that entire bottom end is very similar. Right. Because they just didn't change, didn't they? Where do you think this is roughly from? Like the 70s or 80s? I think so. Or older. Scott will know better. Scott, tell us. Right, let's turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> Lower it a bit more. Oh, 
How was that? That's quite nice, isn't it? They're being so small helps. It's not like you're pushing a massive curling over. Probably needs a drop of oil here and there, though. Yeah. Can't lie, but... Speaking oh. of oil, there's actually a little part on the back of the motor where you can squirt oil into that's the motor. Been oil yeah, I don't think it likes this modern carpet very much, but that's... Nah, even enough. the Turpa 1, amazingly, doesn't like this carpet. It's just a that's rubbish boring. carpet, but yeah. That's pretty dinky, yeah. That is nice. You could see it was in office clean, wouldn't it? So you could probably see it just pushing it around yeah. for hours on end, <laughs> outside of an office building. Yeah, that's cool. The handle bit's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice and cozy. It's, it's, just, it's just really ergonomic, that is. The whole machine doesn't feel big, even though it's it's not small, is it? I mean, not really, it's just... It just feels small. It's what a Kirby should be. Yes. It won't be able to fit all the nice and lightweight. It's got the same power, if not better. Yes. Very nice indeed. So that's the Royal. I don't know what model number, but yeah, that's the Royal, guys. Next, we have this, which is, well, it looks like a DC-50 to me, having not long sorted out the DC-50, but maybe with a 24, perhaps? What, what model is this? It's a UP-15 small ball. Ooh, Animal. Nice. So this is the current, do they even have a current small ball anymore? Not anymore, no, they're not making the these. One that they did. Yeah. Ooh. It's too noisy for the current regulations. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So typical standard head. Let's yeah. Let's turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. If you try it this way, it grooms better. Yeah, it's hot now. The generation depends a lot more cleanly though. Yeah. Even on minimum, you can feel it just can't lie down. That's... What is the difference in this to the old ones? Is it all in the side frame? Is it like physically? Do you mean the 50 or the Mark 250? Because there's three types of DC-50. This is the Mark Three. Come on, expert, tell us all. <laughs> so the DC-50, as we know, is the DC-50. The Mark Two is just the second one with the slightly higher wattage motor and improved head. And this is basically that, but with a 24 handle. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Because right, the ones were rubbish, they leak air, but this one doesn't, so this is the best one out of the lot. Yeah, the one on Mums is just so flimsy, you know, it's together. That's yeah. Who knows, one day we might pick up a free one of these to have a look. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it's cool. I was amazed at how long the hose is as well for, on one of these. Because it stretches out quite a length compared That's to 24. Longer than the 50. And the 24. 50 would have stopped like there. Yeah, that is. <laughs> That's a good length of hose for one of those. I think it reaches up at least five, six, seven stairs even. Yeah, literally on the 50 it's like that, isn't it? You're, you're putting it <laughs> Very nice indeed. People talk rubbish about these, but I think this is the one that's actually worth having. Probably people misuse it. People have this in a five bedroom house. Yeah. Throw a bit of DIY work into the mix and then it's just trash. But you're right, if you actually look after it and use it, they're quite nice. Yeah. Just because they've got such a bad reputation, they've, they've been bad ever since the DC24. Yeah. And then everyone just wrote them off, and now they're actually not too bad. Yeah. Cool. And that's pretty much all the differences. Right, this is just little incremental, yeah. cosmetic y type. <laughs> oh, less Dyson. Using the consumers as beta testers once again. So there it is, an overview of the UP15. It's nice. I reckon we'll have one one day. Hopefully, yeah. Especially if I have to see the DC 50 screw card and be like 90% of the way there. <laughs> I think the upright lock's a bit different as well, actually, because uh, you know with the older ones, you have to click them twice to make them stand upright. With well, this is magnetic. It has, oh, is it? Yeah. So when you put it upright, it just stands up without falling over. Okay. Yeah, because on mum's, there isn't really a click, it just sort of mushes past yeah. where it stops and then it's reclined and then mushes back to upright, which is a bit for me. <laughs> I just don't get why they increase the uh, motor wattage when they put a better head on. I reckon so, yeah. I think the 50 was 650 watts. 
was 850. 850, yeah, that's probably why it feels so quite, quite good. Yeah, so they might have better suction as well on top of that. Probably has, isn't it? Yeah. So if you want a DC50, this is the one to get. Yeah, you can't really wheel it around. Nah. But yeah, I'm quite fond of this one. Very nice indeed. Okay, the last vacuum is the love of my life, the men in duo. Oh, so wow. this is the famous one that you see on TV. It's a lightweight, powerful vacuum. Best vacuum in the world. Nothing beats this. It looks so, so powerful. Yeah. And Sam is lucky enough to finally try one. So I'll let you take over. Oh, wow. The excitement is palpable here. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's have a look at the raw power of this thing. Where's the power switch? There it is. Oh! The cat ran away. Is that powerful? I can't do my I can't do it now. Yeah. Best vacuum in the world, isn't oh, it? I thought you knew, mate. Fire the old to work. <laughs> Let's go to the tip. I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take the mic out of it, but you look like that, Mark. So now you can see why I like it. And the filter's clogged as well, I think. Yeah. yeah. Despite a clogged filter, it's still got tons of suction. Do you want to empty it out and see if it improves the suction? Yeah, on the table. I'll let you figure it out, seeing it's quite simple. There. Yeah, that's still spotless. Yeah, it's got a HEPA filter for the best filtration. Oh, it's got a shroud on the filter as well. I think it pulls off. Oh, it twists off, yeah. That's it. Not bad, you chuck that through the washing machine now. That'll come, come up like new. brand new. That's it. Ooh. And it's purple. Slurp the purple, right. Let's do a pass with just this and then a pass with just that. Do you want to see by hand if it's uh, improved a suction now? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Imagine one of these for home. It's no power to get there. Yeah, that's a typical EU head. But it clamps itself down too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's surprisingly cool. Anything else that's similar, they just don't have the power that this no, does? No, this is, yeah. Yeah. That so, floor head's not horrendous either. It's clogged up now. Oh, it's clogged now. Oh. It's lost debris, but yeah. Yeah. That's... Okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> that is all right. Would you have one of these for home, then? No. No. <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. The handle comes off as well, and it has a decent upholstery tool, but I don't know where that is. And then adapter for the crevice tool. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you can just use it like that for the car and stuff. Get everywhere, yeah. That is cool, I will give you that. What's the wattage? 850. Oh, that's really powerful. Made in Turkey. That could be a shark motor in it. You can smell the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> they changed the head as well because this one's um, the EU type. The older ones leaked a bit more airflow to make it easy to push. Yeah, this head's all right actually. It's just enough camping force to have the plastic strip at the back. Yeah. Screw up the carpet, yeah. Very nice indeed. There's people that prefer these to the Henry's as well. Yeah, there's people that wear it. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah, so there we go, guys. That's the Merlin Pro Duo.